think it started really, you know, I would say my generation, like growing up, watching Jean-Claude Van Damme on Bloodsport, watching all of the Rockies, watching all of the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, every single action hero was on steroids. And at the time, mainstream media probably didn't know. With, um, with social media and being served images of, of great looking guys, great looking girls, you know, you're someone who's been at the forefront of this and has showed your body. But what always amazes me, Steve, you know, you and I being in the fitness industry, it's very easy to look at somebody and go, they're on steer, on gear, they're on performance enhancing steroids, because you can tell. But what amazes yeah. me when yeah. speaking to people outside of the industry is they, they can't believe it. They, they, they're just really, really surprised. There's a huge disconnect between what yeah. the average person yeah. thinks is, is realistic. So I'm going to mention the liver king as someone who's recently exposed for claiming to be natural, but has been been using. Do you find that as well? There is a disconnect between conversation when you have conversations with people about what is a realistic body someone of a certain age can attain. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely see that. And I, and I, and I think back to like, where in my life did I realize, I, where could I spot someone who definitely was taking performance answers? And I, and I had a buddy, I think probably two and a half, three years ago, say, you know, you know, do you think the liver Kings, he's so adamant about, I'm like, it's not even a question. Like, we're not even like, I would bet everything that I own on the fact that the liver just, just based upon skin and what I know from now, there are, there are some genetic outliers out there. Um, you know, that, that are absolute units that I think that, you know, professional, a lot of professional athletes we look at, um, they, 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 they have unusual amounts of, you know, muscle to body fat. I know that there's, there's video, YouTube videos on, you know, like how much muscle can a, a natural athlete, um, build. Um, and, and so I do think that there are some, again, genetic outliers out there, but for the most part, yes, it's very easy. And I'm always, I'm always kind of like, wow. You know, like that, that person, you know, asking about Mr. Olympia and like, oh, those guys are all natural or they, they test for that. And I'm, I'm just thinking I, it's, it's not even so much about, you know, if they are, or if they aren't, because in my head, I know that they, they are. It's just like, it's interesting again, as a society, um, we, we don't, we don't know the difference. And I think that it's, I always kind of go back and forth. Like, what is the difference, you know? somebody who gets a lot of surgery, I feel like it's the, it's the male version. And obviously some females definitely are, are on, you know, pro hormones and steroids and things like that. But I, I really think in our day and age, it is males trying to enhance their looks to the people. And I think it started really, you know, I would say my generation, like growing up, watching Jean-Claude Van Damme on Bloodsport, watching all of the Rockies, watching all of the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, every single action hero was on steroids. And at the time, mainstream media probably didn't know, like they didn't know Sylvester Stallone or these guys, you know, you know, were probably, probably taking things. Um, but that's what I thought was the ideal, you know, shape, the ideal man. It wasn't, it wasn't Steve Reeves necessarily until later on in life, I, I kind of discovered him and thought, wow, this guy's physique looks a lot more attainable. It's, it's natural. Um, these other guys, I think that are, you know, they, they look good. They were imprinted on my mind. Like, hey, that's that's how you, you want to look. And I think American Gladiators, I w just watched the Netflix series on that show. That show was so impactful for me as a kid. Like, I watched those guys and I was like, I want to be an American Gladiator. So I think I think in today's age, now it's social media that does that. And now obviously you have people like the Kardashians that, you know, we're starting to realize like, hey, that's, that's, that's not natural. Um, on the men's side of things, it's the same thing, you know, with, with a lot of these these guys that we look up to, The Rock and things like that, not natural. What, where's your line in the sand then, Steve? Because I, I'm like you, I'm a little bit older than you, but growing up in the same kind of era, seeing those big action stars, yep. it does imprint on a young young boy's mind about what a man should look like. And we're seeing it now in social, on social, with these huge guys claiming to be natural. Are you worried about what young people, young guys are thinking when they see this do you feel that there is a moral or an ethical obligation for people to admit when they're using yeah look I, I again i think it's the same thing do we do we want every woman out there who has plastic surgery to disclose that as well for young girls and i think it's it's what do we want in society we want you know do we want everything you know you would you would hope that everyone is is pretty open about what they take um, and if they are, and if they're claiming natural, I think that that's the big thing. If you are out there adamantly posting that you're this natural person, like I'm, I'm natural right now. Like I, 
And what I say is right now is like, I've taken TRT in my life. I've taken substances I wouldn't claim as natural. Um, but for me, I try to go to the doctor, ha- have mar- healthy markers. My testosterone is low for the longest time from, from dieting. I'm not going to go out there and tell people, oh, I'm all natural. You know, like I did pro hormones when I was in college. Um, it was over the counter. They were just as nasty as steroids. So I think this idea of, you know, what is natural is also, you know, there's some gray areas now with SARMs and peptides and things like that. But I'm all about optimizing health. Now, just like anything else, you can take, hey, getting to a healthy body fat, of you know, 12%, 10%, getting to a, an unhealthy body fat of 4% might seem healthier. And I think that, but really you're, you're abusing, you're now going, you're abusing exercise. Um, you know, you're taking it to a level that might not be healthy for you. Obviously that's, that's going to be between you and your doctor. And I think that that's kind of always what I go back. I'm not, who am I to say like, Hey, don't go out there and take this, this, and this. All I can do is say, Hey, I, I want to be as healthy as I can. The way I do that is I'm going to make sure that I, when I go to my doctor, I'm getting all of my blood work done. I'm looking at, you know, like, how am I feeling? So when I, when I talk to a doctor, I'm like, my testosterone's you know, 320. I'm not feeling great right now, but I want to have kids. And so there, there is, I think, ways of being, again, healthy while maintaining, um, you know, goals and looks and things like that. I think we see a lot of Hollywood actors, even still today, you know, you look at the Avengers and things like that. You know, a lot of them will take things, peptides and whatnot for, for roles and things like that, that's their livelihood. And I think that ultimately, you know, it's, you know, if a model has, you know, breast implants, that's their livelihood. Is it making them feel better? There's all these outside factors that I think that we have to look at and we can't judge people. So if if, if I see someone on steroids, I'm not going to ever, you know, judge them unless they're out there preaching that they're natural. And I think that that's probably the issue is like the liver king who was so adamant that he was, was natural and that's going to come back and probably bite you in the ass.